This demo will show you how you can get information about files that you drag from the operating system and drop into the web page. So here, let me show you. These are the HTML files from this module. And you'll notice that there's quite a bit of information available about the files that came from the operating system. So they're HTML files. You've got the file name and the size, the last modified date, even down to time zone. And that's the same for each one of the files that I dropped into the drop zone. So the way this is set up is I start off by looking at the drop target. I'm handling dropped, drag enter is just canceled, drag over and drag leave have specific functions for each one of those events. So let's take a look at those. Drag over cancels the default behavior and sets the data transfer drop effect to copy. Now I'll go into this more specifically in a coming demo, but notice that Chrome reports back that the copy operation is what's allowed if you were to drop these items in. So that's what the drop effect does. And then after that, I'm handling the hover state just so that you have an idea that you can drop those items on the drop target by adding and removing the appropriate class. Now let's take a look at the dropped function. Again, canceling the default behavior, getting an instance to the target. And then like I did in the last demo, I'm creating a variable that will hold the content that I can append into the drop target. So then I can look at the data transfer types. Now I'm only interested at the files at this point, so I don't need to put in any special code for Internet Explorer because for IE, type will never equal files. But when I'm looking at the data transfer type of files, then I can go in and grab the list of files that's being passed in to the data transfer object. From there, I can iterate over each one of those files and read out some information about them. On each file, I can find out the type, the name, size, and last modified date. So another common implementation of using drag and drop includes taking files from the operating system or the host computer and dragging them onto a web page. So the code implemented here will help you find out information about those files as they're dropped onto the page.